Okay, for this lesson we are going to, we've added an extra button, change the text, put a few more clouds in, all the stuff we've covered so far. What we haven't covered is motion, is uh, shape tweening. Uh, I've set up two very badly drawn trees, just to give you an idea of how this is going to work. Basically, it's going to play from here, grow us a tree. Well, this one tree is going to turn into two trees, so if I hit this, it will do that. And it's actually really simple. You have to be a bit careful because this one doesn't look like it changes that much, doesn't shape, shift between them. And it's all to do with the amount of points that you've got and stuff. If your second image has got the same amount of points as your first image, you're going to get a much smoother shape tween. But the basic idea is it's all held within here. And I'll do it on a separate layer so you can see it working. And I'll use a simple shape so it will look, it will look nice. Let me just do it in this here. So remove those. Okay, I'm going to create. What you need to do is create the first shape, then the second shape. So I'm going to break this frame up by putting a keyframe in there so I've got equal distance. It doesn't matter where you do these, just it's going to start there, it's going to shift and tween at that point there. So for this, I'm going to use um, an object that will tween very well. And also, I'm going to choose. I'm going to change the colour as well because that's something that you can also do. So what I'm going to do now is just in this first frame I'm going to put a circle like this. In this second frame I'm going to cut this. Now you could draw completely new but I want it to be based on what I've already got. This works best for tweening. Put that there and I'm going to paste pasted what was there before. I'm going to paste that in there. So I've got a shape there and I've got a shape there and it's going to move slightly that way. Okay for the middle I'm going to choose another colour now and for the stroke on the outside we haven't touched on stroke much. Make the stroke a bit bigger and change it to a white. Okay now I'm also going to just modify it slightly. Make it flat. Okay, so I've got two shapes. Now I select there and I select the end. So I basically hold the shift key. Sh press down on that, hold the shift key, select the end frame. And then I right hand click and I create shape tween. And nothing seems to have happened, but watch now. If I hit the enter, it tweens from one shape to the other. This can be extremely useful, you can do lettering and things like that, but it's good. And my bad, for, so I'll delete that layer now, you've got the idea of that. So my bad layer is, is that. So that's basically shape tweening, um, which can be useful to you. I'm covering it, I don't use it that much, but you can use it. You could use it for clouds and things like that if you wanted to go up and down in size and, and change shape slightly. That's a good one to use, it sort of uses the motion tween and um, another modifier, the shape tween, um, into one tool. So it's really handy. And I'll show you my file now. So, move it down. I can move it around. Okay, so that's all going on. Oh, I should have exported it. Okay. Oh, look, I made an error there. My grow a tree button is on the wrong side. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy this. that in place. Need this, need this there. Still there. Okay, now I can export this.
Okay, there we go. So we've got our grow a tree. If I click grow a tree. We'll do a nice little shape tween. For one tree. So there we go. And we got our about us page, grow a tree page, back to home page. Okay, that's it for this lesson.